The Clippers bounced back in a huge way last night, routing the Mavericks 154 to 111. They held Luka Doncic to 22 points on 6 of 17 shooting and suffocated him really the whole game. But there was some controversy in the third quarter when Mark Moore stepped on Luka's ankle. After the game, the Mavs star questioned whether it was intentional, but said only Morris would know for sure what his intentions were. Morris denied it and said, quote, I'm not apologizing for bleep. Fox Sports NBA analyst Chris Broussard joining us now. Chris, good morning. Uh, start with you. Do you believe this was intentional? Look, I really like Marcus Morris. I like his toughness, his competitiveness, his fearlessness. I think he's a great addition for the Clippers. And I hate to accuse anyone of doing what, if indeed it was on purpose, is about one of the worst things you could do on a basketball court. Because thank God he didn't really re-injure that ankle of Luka Doncic, uh, especially when he denies it so strongly on Twitter, right? I mean, he used words like respect for others, respect for myself, morals, and all of that. So when you see that type of denial, you almost say, man, if he's lying about this, he is really a low-down person. But when I watch the video, yeah, I really, yeah, I, I feel like there's only one conclusion you can come to because it looks like he took almost like an awkward step. He did, step, right? It's like a little extra length on that step to get to Luca's ankle, and so I do think it was on purpose. And look, Marcus Morris, and, and look at what he did right after he picks up the shoe. So, again, you might look at it like, oh, he was accidentally he's picking up his shoe. But that's Morris's M.O. Throughout his career, look at the many incidents he's had. He's subtle. He is conniving. Whenever he gets in a little scuffle or fall into the ground, he has a way to make it look accidental and get in a little extra jab or something like that. Remember, he's been involved in two major incidents already in this series. Game one. He kind of gives Luke a little something extra, and that's what gets Porzingis into the altercation, right. mm -hmm. and Porzingis is suspended. And then game three, I think he kind of, again, a little something subtle to Luka and pushed him into Montrez Harrell, and that's when Luka says to Montrez, stop flopping, big man. So Morris is subtle with this stuff, and I think he was subtle again here. And the, the denial, it makes sense. It, it, nobody can ever prove he did it on purpose unless he just admits it. Let me ask you a question. So in a situation like that, you can just deny, 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 and say, I don't care what it looks like. I didn't do it on purpose. So I, I do think it was intentional. Both of you guys have covered the sports business. Uh, quarter century for you, 40-plus years for Skip. Skip, have you ever heard a player do something and say, yeah, I did that on purpose? Maybe here and there, but rarely. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yes. rare, but it happens, but yeah, it's rare. It's rare. But he, he went so far with the denial, but again, I, looking at my what my eyes tell me and his history, yeah. I, I'm just glad Luca wasn't hurt, seriously, but that, that, was, that was low. That was low, and I think it was intentional. Go ahead, Miguel. Yeah. Okay, Chris Broussard. I am here to make the case that Luca is not quite as innocent as everybody portrays him to be. I think there is some wolf in sheep's clothing operating <laughs> here because I did think he wasn't really pushed into Montrez the other day when that incident started. I thought he tripped up Montrez and then looked sideways and with a profanity attached, accused him of flopping, which then triggered Montrez to go up the court and say what he said. We talked about that the other day. In this case, do I know for a fact that Marcus Morris stepped intentionally on his foot? I don't, but I'm with both of you. It sure looks like he did. <laughs> and I don't have a major problem with it because I believe Marcus Morris, who considers himself an elder statesman on this team and an enforcer on this team, was retaliating for what Luca had done maybe six, seven minutes earlier near the end of the first quarter to Reggie Jackson. If we could see this one more time, underneath the basket, Reggie Jackson is standing, if we could see it, please, and shot goes up, and guess what? Luca basically sucker punches Reggie Jackson in the back of the head. He takes a swipe at him, 
You can see it from the overhead more clearly. He just swings on him. There, you saw it, and uses it's it's sort he was of trying to tip the ball out. Yeah, he hit what him. With, I was gonna say it looks to me like he's going for the ball. No, he hit him right in the back of the head with the palm, you know, sort of the hard palm of his hand, and it's a sucker punch or a rabbit punch, and it knocked Reggie Jackson completely out of bounds and on his back. And I thought maybe Reggie hit the back of his head on the hardwood, but that's not what was happening there. He got sucker punched. They did not make any issue of it after the game, but Reggie obviously had to leave the game, go to the locker room, get checked out. Concussion protocol was able to come back and play well in the game. Thank God for that. But again, Luca started it, and I believe Marcus <laughs> Morris tried to finish it. So uh, uh, Luca again, was saying, he's saying all this bad stuff to me. Well, yeah, they're, they're coming after you because you had a reputation last year that grew that you were soft, you, you were vulnerable psychologically if teams got physical with you and roughed you up. And the Clippers are trying to do just that. So maybe you could say just the style of play is for, forcing Lucas to retaliate himself. But in this case, last night, Lucas started it. See, you see what Skip did? He about Lucas started it. Uh, yeah. I... <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. Well, wait a second. You don't think he punched him in the back I, I, of the head? I, I thought he was I, trying I to knock the ball out. He hit him right in the back of the head. He is the ball's a, right there, though. He is a He's shrewd operator, <laughs> Luka Doncic. He has basketball genius, and he cold cocked him with a shot right into the back of the head. I, it, it's pretty clear to me. Uh, Skip, what'd you say? Uh, what'd you say that uh, Marcus Moore says he plays the game with uh, mm -hmm. uh, written integrity? He yep. plays. Yep. What, what would the, Skip read? He read says the quote. Uh, to think I would injure somebody is crazy to me. Uh, Ten years going against the best. I stand on morals and hard work. I compete and leave it out there every game. Uh, do we got that video? Do we got the video? Go, the police videos. And I want the people at home to watch this. Now you tell me how. This, tell me this is. Look at this. So I, I just want to know what that is. <laughs> Is that how morals and integrity? In his face, like you got a problem with it? I, I, I just want to know: is, is that integrity? Is that now? Watch this, Ben Simmons. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah, what? That's I, what I'm talking about. The little subtle. Watch what he does with his knee. Little something, right? Right. Oh, so yeah, that's oh, really? So that's how morals and integrity. That's his reputation. Uh, that's what he's oh, always played. I got it. it. Skip. I got it. All I'm saying is just own it. Yeah, Don't I, try I to... was surprised he vehemently yes, denied it. Yes, right? yes. I got nothing to apologize for. He he did say it was a mistake. Deal with it. So he admitted I accidentally stepped but on the But he, as, as Chris say, he changed his walking pattern mm -hmm. to he get did. an extra elongated step with the left so he could take his left yep. and step on Luca's left. Okay. But here's the thing with intent. Intent only matters to the defendant. Intent only matters to the person committing the mm -hmm. act. Yep. Luca still got his ankle stepped on. Okay. So and you did it. It's so, okay. Look. Now, probably Charles Oakley would have done something if Robert told you, yeah, I did it. So what you gonna do about it? He would have said. But, it. Yep. but he would have said that to the person. He I, wouldn't I have said agree. that to the media. He would have. He'd have said that to the guy's face. Agreed. We all know who I Oak right. is. So, but this situation here, he did this on purpose. Mm -hmm. He has a history yep. of this type of behavior. Yep. Just own it. Whew. I think, too, Skip, again, I, I agree with you that Luca is doing some subtle things himself. But I don't think the Reggie Jackson one was. I think he was going for the ball and just accidentally hit him. But I also think if Morris had been retaliating for that, I think he would have said that. I think he would have said, look, you saw what he did to Reggie. He knocked Reggie out of the game. I'm going to defend my players. I am, you know, that's my job on this team to defend my players. I think he would have came out like that. So I don't think this had anything to do with the Reggie Jackson situation, or I firmly believe Morris would have said so. Mm, I'm not so sure about that. And by the way, the refs felt so sorry for Luca. Did you see what happened? It might, might have been just a play or so later. He tried to inbound the ball, and he tr he slipped. Yeah. He had put his shoe back on. Do we have that? He, <laughs> he put his shoe back on. Whoops. Oh, wait a second. You just touched the ball inbounds. You, you, it's a turnover. Yeah. But, hey, it's a turnover. You got to call it. Hey, Blow what, the whistle. What did I tell you yesterday, Skip? Kane Fitzgerald. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And he threw. He, he hold on. Didn't he throw? Hold on. Didn't he throw Carlisle what? out of the game? Wait, you just inbounded the ball. Oh, Chris Broussard. Yeah. Kane yep. Fitzgerald he did. threw Rick Carlisle out of the game he did. after he handed yeah. Tim Hardaway Jr. And the ball they lost and it. allowed Doc to call a timeout to challenge the plate. You can't do that. Kane Fitzgerald said he was already trying to challenge before he handed him the no. ball. Okay, well, that's what? what he said. So why'd you hand him the ball then? 
Well, it, it was another ref who was hearing the, the, the no, challenge. Yeah. Yeah. I told y'all, Kane Fitzgerald on that bull. I told y'all about Kane Fitzgerald. Mm. I, I've been trying to tell it's you. It's been a bad series for yeah. Kane. Yeah, it's been a very bad series. Yeah. <laughs> well, all I know is uh, I don't want to hear any more Larry Bird talk oh, about bird. Luka Doncic. No, I don't want to hear any more hear, baby you bird. Hear, you hear, you know, years. Yes, he, he starts Next off the game years. shooting another air ball. He shot three on Sunday. That's four in two games. Four <laughs> air balls? Larry Bird might have never shot an air ball in his whole NBA career. It's possible he never shot one. I know Larry Bird won 21 yeah. hit a game with him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. just stop yeah. it. He was one for Skip. six last night. He's pathetic from three. Don't do that. Don't do that, Skip. In Larry Bird's first NBA Finals, he had two eight-point games. Okay. Now, you know, if we, if you had undisputed back then, 1981, whatever that was, mm -hmm. yeah, that you was. would be destroying Larry Bird. Eight, two eight-point games, Cornbread, Cornbread Maxwell. Cornbread Maxwell was the MVP. Was the final? Yes. And wait, there, Larry Bird no. was a rookie? No, his second, second year. year? Second, Second year, year. Yeah. but still, he was older. Remember, he stayed in college a long yeah. time, so he was he was older than Luca is right now. He's yeah. about twenty four. Oh, so Larry. I mean, uh, so, Chris, you're saying Larry Bird's overrated? Is that what you're saying? That you can see no, what he did. I, I just want to know. <laughs> you see what he did, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Let's keep it real. Larry Bird wasn't perfect either. All right, he is, so if you're gonna judge Luke on a bad game here or there, oh really? Remember, Larry Bird had him too on the big stage. Oh, uh, Luca leads the playoffs in missed free throws so far. Larry Bird was a 91 percent playoff free All throw I know shooter. Is I'm getting me a 77 jersey, mm -hmm. so you get ready. Yeah, you do need to. Get